McKinney police officer's actions in a video that's gone viral are now the center of controversy over how he handled the situation involving teenagers at a pool party. Good evening. I'm Richard Ray and I'm Natalie Solis. A caller told police several teens didn't have permission to use a pool in the Craig Ranch neighborhood. <laughs> A witness shot this video when police arrived, showing an officer using what some say is excessive force on a teenage girl and even pulling a gun on those teens. The officer has been identified as Corporal Eric Casebolt. He's been put on administrative leave now pending an investigation. First on Fox 4 is a hit. Arab is in our newsroom now with more on what that teenage girl and homeowners there have to say happened. Well, Rich, those angry with the officer's actions believe he let his emotions get the best of him, saying that he drew his weapon at teens and swimsuits. But those supporting case both say party guests that disobeyed orders forced him to do it. So we're going to press receive, all right? Number one. Together in a circle, strangers at the police station pray for compassion. God is our shield out there, Defense on what's become a divisive issue nationwide. Police brutality or public defiance. After this video shows what witnesses describe as a fight between an invited graduation pool party guest of a resident and another woman, the nearly 70 guests disperse when police get there. He told me to keep walking, and I kept walking, and then I'm guessing he thought we were saying rude stuff to him. And Moments later, McKinney Police Corporal Eric Casebolt takes down 15-year-old Dejeria Becton, an invited guest who says she was not involved in the fight. He grabbed me and he like twisted my arm um, on the back of my back and he shoved me in the uh, grass and he started pulling the back of my braids and I was like telling him that like, can he get off me because my back was hurting really bad. A crowd notices and surrounds Casebolt, prompting the supervisor to unholster his gun and pointed at other partygoers. Becton tries to get up, but Case Bolt pins her to the ground, holding her down with both knees. She was eventually released to her family, who isn't happy with how the teen was treated. It wasn't right. I think his force was excessive. But homeowners who live near the private pool say it was appropriate. He grabbed her arm to try to handcuff her, and she was she started resisting immediately. And she should have just stopped at that point, like anybody, and sat down and put her hands behind her back. And he said, lie on the floor, and she wouldn't. This woman, who saw it all, doesn't want her face shown because she claims those supporting Case Bolt are getting threats. They were just doing the right thing when these kids were fleeing and using profanity and threatening security guards. But it's difficult not to notice the difference in demeanor between Case Bolt and other officers on scene. I'm getting fired isn't enough. Police brutality or public defiance. I am committed to a complete and thorough investigation into this incident. Community members anxiously wait for an answer. We're not here to try to cause a riot or, or beat Baltimore all over again. We just want to be treated fairly and equally. Holding hands, withholding judgment. In Jesus' name, everybody. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, there were no injuries, but one teen was arrested on charges of interference and evading arrest. Becton tells us it was a friend that was trying to push that police officer off of her. Okay, we know millions have seen this video all across the country, and I'm guessing various groups are reacting to it pretty differently, probably. You know, very differently. In fact, the crowd believes Case Bolt and other McKinney officers were specifically seeking out minorities and showing aggression towards them, including yelling profanities and putting them in handcuffs. In response, the Next Generation Action Network is planning a march against police brutality tomorrow at 6.30 at Comstock Elementary School in McKinney. Meanwhile, staff at the Craig Ranch Community North Pool put up a sign this afternoon thanking McKinney police, specifically the officers that responded that day for keeping residents that live there safe. Uh, it's a story I'm sure we have certainly not heard the end of. Thank you, Zahid.